Now to a live look at the floor of the State House in Nashville. We'll be taking a look at that soon. In just a few minutes, lawmakers are scheduled to vote on a bill drafted after a horrific child abuse case in East Tennessee. The bill will give the Department of Children's Services more oversight after prosecutors say a Roan County couple made thousands of dollars while abusing the kids they were paid to adopt. Sponsors of the bill have a simple goal. Never allow a similar case to happen again. And 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan looks at the bill and the ongoing efforts of local groups to save children from abuse. It's the second to last hurdle for a bill born out of an East Tennessee tragedy. Michael, do you have anything to say? Prosecutors charged Michael Gray and his wife Shirley with cashing thousands of dollars in payments for kids. Investigators say they locked in the basement, starved and killed. The bill gives DCS the power to keep closer tabs on families who receive adoption assistance payments to make sure the kids are okay. DCS is a huge referral source. Sarah Long works with victims of child abuse at the McNabb Center. I think that kids can overcome the effects of trauma. They can heal and get better. The center offers treatment options for victims of abuse, but also prevention tools for families before something horrible happens. Stranger danger is something that we equip families with that type of knowledge, but the majority of children who experience child abuse and neglect actually are abused by somebody that they know. Long says Child Abuse Prevention Month is an opportunity for parents to learn who it's safe to leave their kids around and the signs something isn't right. Even young kids can tell us that something's wrong. Usually we can tell through the kids' behaviors, and so kids might start to seem more withdrawn or they might start acting out. An upcoming law change will give more oversight for a problem only community and family awareness can stop. Reporting in Knoxville, I'm Cole Sullivan. If the House passes that bill tonight, it will then head to Governor Bill Lee's desk for his signature or veto. If you or someone you know is a victim of child abuse, there is help. The Tennessee Child Abuse Hotline is open 24-7 and it's free. And if you are in an emergency situation where a child is being abused or neglected, call 911. You can find more resources right now at WBIR.com.